Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NHL action for March the 20th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to this VIP club section, which has all the great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's get down to some business here as the NHL season is reaching the final stages and teams are still battling for the playoffs. So the first game we want to look at is Florida and Detroit. Florida comes in average, coming off of a loss in overtime to Winnipeg, and they are 4-2 over the last six. While Detroit is ice cold down, they are 3-3 three three over their last six. On the power ranks indicator, you can see that Florida is at plus 11. They're on a downward trend. They were at 18. While Detroit has climbed a little bit from plus 5 to plus 8 over the last few days. The score predictor has Detroit by a 3-2 score with 56% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the over and under, you can see that in the last two games, Florida has been involved in games over, but the previous four under. And Detroit has been involved in games over the line four out of the last six. The head-to-head -head matchup shows that Florida won the last game by a 3-2 score on the road, and they also won the first game of season 5-1 at home. Take a look at the stability factor. How well are they playing and according to their favorite underdog status? You can see both teams are pretty stable at plus 14 to plus 12. Although the up and down lately, look at Detroit. They were at plus 12. They moved down. They moved up to plus 14, back down, now back up to plus uh, 14. So in the end, though, I like Florida to win this one by a couple goal goals, and I would take this game to go over the line. Okay, so the next one, number two of four that we're going to look at here is Ottawa and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh comes in seventh in the Eastern Conference, and Ottawa is at 12th. Pittsburgh comes in average down, coming off of a loss. They are three and three over their last six. Ottawa coming off of three straight losses, and they're just two and four over their last six. Notice though, in the games that Ottawa has played, the last six all in games over the line, while Pittsburgh has been involved in games over the line in four out of the last six. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, clearly Pittsburgh is a better team, although they have been on a downward trend lately. They were at plus 22. They are now plus 13, while Ottawa is now at plus 6. So if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, you can see Pittsburgh won the last one on January 20th by a 4-1 to score. And on January the 18th, prior to that, Ottawa won at home 5-4 to in overtime. The score predictor likes Pittsburgh in this one by a 4-3 to three score with 66% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the stability factor, notice that Ottawa has been more consistent, more stable in Pittsburgh at plus 20 compared to plus 13, although both have been moderately stable throughout the year with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end, though, I like Pittsburgh in this one, and I think they will win in a game going over the line. Next one is Chicago and Colorado. Chicago really has nothing to play for. They are at the bottom of the league. Um, I coming a nice cold up, coming off of a win, two and four over the last six. While Colorado is in the middle of the playoff hunt, they are burning hot at the moment, and then winners of their last three and four out of their last six. If you take a look at the over under, Chicago has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last five, and uh, Colorado has been involved in games under in two out of the last three. Uh, but over in three out of the last five. The power ranks indicator shows that Colorado is much uh, stronger right now at plus 18 compared to Chicago down at the bottom at zero, and they've been zero ever since March the 10th. The score predictor likes Colorado in a blowout five to two with confidence in prediction of about 67%. That's not a big surprise. Um, the head to head matchup shows that. Uh, Chicago won the last meeting 3-2, to two, but Colorado actually won the first one between the two teams 5-2 to two as a, actually, excuse me, I have that backwards. Chicago won, right, as a home favorite 3-2, to two, which was a surprise. Colorado winning at home was not a surprise back on October 12th as a very heavy home favorite. Let's take a look at the stability factor like we always like to do here. Um, Chicago much more consistent at plus 24, Colorado only at plus 6. You notice that they were at plus 6 back on December 22nd. Haven't gotten any more stable since then. In fact, dipped some for a while 
until they rebound to plus six at the moment. So in the end, though, I like Colorado to win this one in a game over the line. The last one we want to look at here is Calgary and Los Angeles. Los Angeles comes in third in the conference, while Calgary is coming in 10th uh, in the conference, still with a chance at the playoffs. Los Angeles is burning hot, winning five out of the last six. The only loss came on March 11th against Nashville, 2-1. to one. And Calgary is averaged down, coming off of a loss, and they're 3-3 three and three over their last six. If you notice the over-under, Los Angeles has been involved in game over the line in five out of the last six games, while Calgary has been involved in games over the line in their last two, but just three out of their last six. On the power ranks indicator, Los Angeles is near the top of the league at plus 29, while Calgary has been up and down. They dipped to plus 10 as of March 12th, and they have rebounded to plus 15. The score predictor has all Los Angeles 5-2 with confidence and prediction of about um, 50%. Earlier when I looked at this, not much earlier, maybe an hour ago, it was Calgary 1-0, 52% confidence, so the tide has changed quickly on this one. The stability factor shows that neither team has been very consistent at all. I mean, particularly Calgary. Uh, Calgary was at plus 5, and they dipped uh, down to plus 2. And uh, Los Angeles has not been very stable all year. It's now finally in the positive. They are at positive 7. So in the end, though, I like Los Angeles in this one, but I would pass on the over-under. So there you have it. Those are the games in the NHL for March 20th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.